Imagine, it is 500 million years ago and you are one of the many trilobites of the Emu Bay Shale living at the evolutionary peak of the Cambrian period. The waters are warm and the oceans are shallow, rich with nutrients and food. Your days consist of burrowing in sediment, crawling over the sea floor, or maybe even swimming in the open waters. You don't have to worry much about becoming prey. Your main concerns involve where the best places to filter feed are, but that was when you saw it. A looming shadow was approaching you from above, over half a meter in length, with spindling appendages reaching out for you. You try to scurry away, but its eyes have spotted you, and with its sleek body allowing it to move swiftly through the water, it starts chasing you. Today, the animal Acarus is regarded as the first super predator to have roamed the early oceans of planet Earth. Scientists can infer this from specific body features designed to help them hunt for prey in the sunlight waters. The animal Acarus ate cockroach-like critters known as trilobites. It was able to find these using its complex eyes containing 16,000 lenses per eye. Once it succeeded in finding something to eat, it was able to use its long frontal appendages, which were used like a net to trap prey on the ocean floor. This allowed the animal Acarus to then suction the prey into its mouth, a bit like a vacuum. Within its mouth were grinding and crushing plates, used to crush the prey into smaller bite-sized pieces. So you, as a little trilobite crawling along the ocean floor, really had to look out for this apex predator to avoid being its next meal. Nowadays, researchers can conclude this information from fossil evidence preserved within the Emu Bay Shale, found at Kangaroo Island, right here in South Australia. It preserves an entire ecosystem of early life, which is truly spectacular considering the complexities of fossil preservation. It requires a series of perfect conditions to preserve these early creatures. Upon their death, they fall to the bottom of the seafloor, where gradually, layers of mud and sand need to pile on top of them. This creates oxygen-depleted conditions. At times, these layers of sediment were up to 60 metres. That is as tall as a 20-storey building for reference. Compaction occurs over time as more layers get added on top. These layers we now refer to as beds, much like the layers of a cake. The combination of these occurrences aid in preserving the fine details of fossils we get to marvel upon today. But why would we care about what life used to exist before our own? Understanding how early life forms existed is important for acknowledging how species adapt and modify to their environments to ultimately increase their survival through evolution. But potentially, more importantly, when we look to the future, understanding our own evolution on Earth from simple single-celled bacteria to complex humans has an application. In realising the potential of how life could exist or even evolve on other planets within our solar system, only if we understand the past can we create possibilities for the future.